whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings and today I've got not one, not two, but three Kilhoman that I would like to put head to head. Three Kilhoman that are all three of them 100% bourbon cask matured. Let me explain. The first one that we have here is the Makir Bay at cask strength. This is the Makir Bay that was released for the 10th anniversary of the Kilhoman distillery. The, uh, the brothers George and James Wills, they toured Europe, they are the sons of the founder Anthony Wills of course, they toured Europe to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the distillery with this Makir Bay 10th anniversary tour bottled in 2015 at a whopping 58.9% ABV, hooray! Now contrary to current Makir Bay releases which are a bit bourbon and a bit of sherry cask matured, this is 100% bourbon barrels. Next up is the Kilhoman Original Cask Strength. This is a release that is um, put out there every single year. So this is the uh, distilled 2009 bottled 2014 edition. So it is a five years old, 100% bourbon casks again, bourbon barrels. And this, this has a whopping ABV of 59.2% ABV. Oh my God. Last but not least is an older one. And you can see by the shape of the bottle, this is the... The, the previous uh, design of the bottle, which actually I quite liked because it's, it, it, it uh, represents a, a still, right? Anyway, this is a uh, fresh bourbon cask. So this is a single cask that was um, a fresh bourbon cask that was distilled in 2007, I believe. Um, let's check. Distillation date, 10th of October, 2007 indeed. And it was bottled at a whopping do not be afraid. This is 62.4% ABV. Honey, I need water. Just kidding. So this is three bourbon cask matured, because this is a fresh bourbon cask. Three bourbon cask matured Kilhoman at cask strength. Right. And I would like to put these head to head. And I have to tell you beforehand, I chose these because they are all bourbon cask, obviously. And I do have a bit of a penchant for... for bourbon cask matured Kilhoman. I think this is Kilhoman as it should be. I know there's a lot of these 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 cask finishes and port matured and rum finish and red wine and whatnot. I really like Kilhoman bourbon cask matured. It makes, in my opinion, the spirit shine through the best. So let's put these head to head and let's start with the Makir Bay, the 10th anniversary release. Yeah, light golden. It's actually more like straw. Right on the nose. And there you have it, the typical Kilhoman spirit. It's peaty, sure. It's got a lot of earthy notes. I get some lime, I get some lemon. We also get a bit of smoke peat. Um, a bit of a sour note as well, probably like, like grapefruit. Earthy, very earthy. I really, really like this. Right, on the palate. Creamy, sturdy arrival. Mmm, ashes, a bit of brackish water in there as well. But enough of sweetness because I do get some vanilla, some honey, but mostly citrus fruit and then the ashes kick in. This beet smoke kicks in. It's very earthy indeed on the finish. Ah, long textbook kill Homan. This is, this is so good. Ashes again. The smoke fades away gently. And it, it's got a bit of the spices there on the finish as well. I get some ginger and some white pepper. The Kilhoman Machir Bay 10th Anniversary Tour. Lovely, lovely. If you can still find it, and you can find it left and right, Google it, you will find it. Absolute stunning, stunning Kilhoman. I really, really like this one. But the original cask strength then. What about that? Also bourbon cask matured. It's a lot less sweet on the nose. The vanilla that I had on the Makir Bay is not there. This is all about earthy notes and citrus fruit. I get some stone fruit as well. A little peppery as well. Quite alcoholic at first, but it fades away gently to reveal those ashes again. Some tarry ropes even maybe. Quite nice indeed on the palate. Mm-hmm. More powerful, 
but not as sweet. Again, not as sweet. This is all about ashes, some brackish water. Oh, oh, hang on. There's this late sweetness coming through now. I do get some honey, some white fruit like pears, and maybe even a mango in the distance. Mm, 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 on the finish. Again, long, very long, ashy, very ashy. There's a sooty, the, the, the vanilla that I had on the palate, late on the palate, now fades away, leaving room for a lot of smoke. The smoke becomes quite grand, leaving your mouth completely warm. Quite a bit of wood spices and a tiny, tiny bitter note at the end. And that must be the tannins from the oak wood. Again, another lovely, lovely Kilhoman. But this last one, the uh, fresh bourbon cask, which is very young. This is only three years old. Um, a single cask that was released for Belgium. And again, uh, 62.40% ABV. I, I, I may need some water with this. This is actually straw. This is even, even lighter in color than the uh, original cask strength. This is sunlight to straw right on the nose. Now it differs quite a bit from these two because it cannot it cannot deny its young age. It's not spirity, but you can tell it's just 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 about right. Nevertheless, this is quite impressive. Again, those those slightly bitter notes, a lot of citrusy fruits, big smokiness. Although this is only 50 ppm, well only. Again, textbook kill homing on the palate. Hmm. Hmm. I would have thought that I would be needing a lot of water, that this would be very alcoholic and biting, but it is. It's actually silky soft on the palate upon arrival. It's almost a bit creamy, in fact. And you wouldn't say this is over 60% ABV because it's quite quaffable without water. Maybe that has a little bit to do with the fact that the palate was already prepared for high alcohol drink because of the Makir Bay and the original cask strength. But this is again a lot sweeter. I even get some, some, some pineapple. I even get some pineapple on the barbecue and overripe bananas. This is quite nice indeed. On the finish. Mm. Finish is long and quite ashy, but this is a bit, a bit, a bit herbal. It's 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 almost as if they they decided to put some green herbs in the cask. You know, like from from southern France, the Provence. They took a lot of green herbs and put that in the cask. This is quite herbal, as opposed to earthy. This is more herbal than than the other releases here. Maybe that has to do with the younger age, because this is only three years old. It was uh, bottled after only three years making this the youngest Kilhoman that I've tried so far um, and the highest strength Kilhoman at the same time. But truth be told, all of these, all three of them are absolutely delicious. I, I really like them a lot. And uh, they're very similar because your bourbon cask matured and yet quite different. The Makir Bay is, in my opinion, in this in this little, little lineup, I think the Makir Bay 10th anniversary tour is my favorite because it is the the most complete, if I can put it that way. It's creamy on the palate. It's got both the Isla touches with some some peat smoke and and then the the, the citrusy fruits and the ashes and such, with a lovely lovely finish. It, this is the most complete. While the original cask strength is less sweet and more about the spirit. This is more spirit driven. While this one is very young, a single fresh bourbon cask for Belgium. I'm not sure if you'll still be able to find this one. This one clearly shows its age, but no worries. Even though this is only three years old, Kilhoman is not afraid to put this out because, and that's the strength of Kilhoman in my opinion, they have great spirit. And the fact that they are able to put this out and have a good nose, a balanced palate and a great finish, that tells me two things. One, Kilhoman has excellent spirit. They really know what they are doing. They've got excellent spirit. And two, Anthony Wills, the owner, is very peculiar, very particular about the oak casks that he chooses. That much is clear because this has to be quality oak. You need good spirit 
and good oak to be able to put out something this balanced and this this tasty in just three years and there you have it three kilhoman three high strength kilhoman three kilhoman on bourbon casks absolutely delicious and this is my favorite type of kilhoman this for me is textbook kilhoman bourbon cask matured and that's all for this whiskey rambling and i hope to see you at one of mark's whiskey ramblings real soon and until then may them all be with you bye bye